Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. I took a little bit of a break from posting videos, but we're back now and today I am all about getting back on track. We actually just arrived back home from a little family vacation. Josh and I took our two girls, six and almost two, on a four day cruise out of Galveston, Texas. We had one stop in Cozumel, Mexico. It was a great little family vacation, a great little getaway, but now it's the rush of getting settled. We've been running laundry all afternoon. I just went to the grocery store. It was a fun and relaxing few days, but I'm ready to get back on track. So let's get into my grocery haul and meal plan for the week. Just a reminder, all produce, vegetables, fruit, whether it's fresh, canned, or frozen, is zero points on the WW plan with a few exceptions, and I will list those here in the bottom bar along with all other WW points for this haul. We have tons of produce. I guess I was inspired by our little tropical vacation. Um, so I have some honey crisp apples, strawberries. It's so humid outside my package, like totally fogged up. Um, but I'm gonna wash all of these and prep them for the fridge. So they look beautiful and they smell delicious. I got a couple yellow dragon fruit. I'm not a big fan of the pink ones, but the yellow ones are super sweet when they're fresh. Some little cherry sweet tomatoes. I have a large head lettuce we're gonna use for some salads along with a bunch of romaine hearts for salads or sandwiches. Here's one of those exceptions. These are two jumbo avocados. They are perfectly ripe. I'm gonna use them for avocado toast as well as make up a little fresh guacamole on the side with dinner tonight. We're just doing easy peasy tacos. I have two yellow squash as well as two zucchini. That's gonna be part of a breakfast bowl prep. I had something similar on the cruise for breakfast and it's just like in my head. So I wanna make it myself. A couple sweet potatoes. I'll roast those up on the side with a dinner one night. This gorgeous golden pineapple. It smells so sweet and it is yellow from head to toe. So this is like ready to cut up now. I will get that cut and prepped up during our meal prep tomorrow morning. I have a fresh bunch of cilantro going in our guacamole. And then this is some basil um, I will use in another recipe, a pasta recipe later this week. On to the meat. I usually don't have much meat in my grocery hauls because I buy in bulk at Costco a lot, but our fridge, freezer, pantry was almost empty. Like we did a really good job of really eating it out over the couple weeks before going on our trip. So I really needed to restock. I have some ground chuck here. This is 80-20, almost two pounds of it. We're gonna use some of it tonight for tacos and the other half I will freeze for another meal maybe next week. Two pounds of chicken breast tenders, boneless, skinless chicken breast. It's just cut up into small pieces. I'm gonna use some of this for stir fry and then I'll probably freeze the rest. So we have some meat for next week, a package of bacon, and then this was a splurge. This is 2.28 pounds of prime boneless New York strip steak. There are three of them in here. Josh and I will share one of these for dinner. So we are gonna do that one night for dinner this week. The other two, I will go ahead and wrap and freeze. We can cut one up and shave it really thinly and use that for beef and broccoli or a stir fry or fajitas. So it was just, it seemed like a really good price at only 36 46 for this large package. And this looked like some really good meat. So anyway, we're just on that a little bit, but again, some of it's going in the freezer for multiple meals. This is a new find and a new try. This is some turkey sausage, some smoked sausage. Our family favorite, the ATB fresh butter tortillas. Again, we're doing tacos tonight, so that's why I picked those up. I have some sliced oven roast turkey breast. This is nice lean turkey. Josh and I kept talking about how we just really want really big, fun salads right now post-vacation. Just a nice, fresh, crunchy something. So I'm gonna use that in a salad recipe for prep this week for lunches. I also grabbed some low moisture part skin mozzarella. We're gonna be doing some DIY pizza at home this week. For a quick lunch option, I picked up this cheese enchilada soup. I can cook up some of that chicken, shred it up and add that and the soup is ready to go. I know we're kind of getting out of soup season as the weather's warming up, but I feel like enchilada soup or some other ones that are a little bit spicy, I still enjoy throughout the spring and summer as long as they're not super heavy and creamy. Um, so this one looks really good. Some of our favorite uh, Texas barbecue pickle spears. These again might go in that salad or on the side with sandwiches. I got an 18 pack of eggs. We needed more eggs for the house. These are just some strawberry yogurt smoothies. Lila likes taking these with her lunch to school. Some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I use this with my coffee, whole milk for the kids, mostly Nora. 
but Lila might use that for um, cereal sometimes. Trying a new flavor of coffee creamer. You guys know I love the Chobani coffee creamers. These are made, they're full sugar, full cream, but I just use less of them. They taste really good and rich. So you don't need as much in your coffee. I believe two tablespoons is four points on the WW plan. So I just use one to two tablespoons depending on my day um, with two shots of espresso and then I top off with almond milk. And that's like my iced coffee in the morning. This is the white chocolate mocha flavor. We haven't tried that one before, but it sounded good. I grabbed some Diet Coke just to mix it up a little bit with drinks. Otherwise we have tons of water. We also have some Crystal Light lemonade mix still in our pantry. I have a few cans of no salt added tomato sauce. We can use this to make our own pizza sauce or pasta sauce. Um, just by adding whatever herbs and spices you want. This as is is zero points on the WW plan. Some whole kernel corn, a couple cans of no salt added black beans. We just like to use this as a side dish with the kids. I have some cinnamon applesauce pouches for the kids. This is when I make um, just regular coffee in a coffee pot and not espresso in my Nespresso machine. We like the Cafe Ole by HEB, the San Antonio flavor. This is just plain flavored coffee. So it's zero points, it just has flavor to it. So it is a medium bodied coffee with cinnamon, chocolate, and vanilla flavors. This one is so, so good. Definitely recommend. Chow mein noodles, so we can do this with like a noodle stir fry. I have some linguine for a pasta dish this week. A couple options for some stir fry veggies. I might do half and half of these for our stir fry, but this one's a sugar snap stir fry, and has like sugar snap peas, mushrooms, carrots, and onions. And then this one's a broccoli one, and it's broccoli, carrots, water, chestnut blend. So I have both of those. I can stick one in the freezer if I don't use them both. Some mild banana pepper rings, these add so much flavor to sandwiches or salads for zero points. Any of these like pickled kind of vegetables, um, be careful depending if they have added sugar in them, but these are zero points on the WW plan and we love adding them to our salads for a little zip and a lot of flavor to them. Some garlic. <laughs> Sorry guys, this is the one easy thing I always do in the kitchen. I just don't always have time to be mincing garlic and I hate cleaning a garlic press, so I do keep this on hand. Although 100% fresh garlic always tastes better, so if I'm doing like a fancy recipe or I have the time and I'm just chilling cooking, I do that, but this is great for fast weeknight meals. Some guacamole seasoning, so I'm just gonna mash up one of those avocados with some of this lime juice and cilantro. Ranch seasoning mix, um, I have yet to go to Costco, but when I do go, I'm gonna pick up some plain nonfat Greek yogurt because we're out. And I just mix this in with some yogurt, a little bit of water or lime juice to thin it out. And we use that for our like salad dressing or dip for raw veggies during the week, that kind of thing. A couple snackies for the kiddos. Lila likes taking these fruit and grain bars. These are the blueberry ones for school. Josh likes these crunchy Nature Valley ones. He'll probably take this box to work so he has a snack on hand. My favorite, the honey mustard pretzel crisps. This is like my go-to evening snack. And then I also picked up self-rising flour because again, once I pick up the plain nut fat Greek yogurt, I can mix the two of them together to make an easy at-home pizza dough. I like to make pizza bombs with the kids, which is where we make the dough. We take little dough balls, press them flat, add cheese, and some seasoning to the middle, wrap it up and roll it back into a ball. We air fry them and then you can dip them in marinara. They're so delicious. Sorry, that was kind of a quick haul. These two are done. They're so tired from traveling and all that. So anyway, I'm gonna get this put away, get dinner started, and I'll check in with you guys tomorrow when we talk through the meal plan and get meal prepping for the week. Here's my weekly meal plan I have set. Tonight is Monday. We are doing tacos with some guac and black beans. I do have the suggested points here, but obviously they will vary depending on your brand and specific items that you use for your meal. But here's a good idea about what they are. Tomorrow night, we're doing a chicken chow mein stir fry with all of those ingredients that I shared here in my haul. Only points that you need to account for in this will be the noodles. And depending on what kind of sauce you use, I'm gonna be using some teriyaki sauce which is very low point per serving. Wednesday, I think we're gonna do leftovers of the chow mein. Thursday night, I'm gonna be making some bruschetta pasta. This is gonna have chicken in it for a good source of protein. And then I use diced tomato, onion, and basil with balsamic vinegar to create a sauce with the linguine pasta and veggies and chicken. Friday is Josh and I's at-home date night. We're gonna be doing some of that steak that I picked up today, along with some fresh veggies on the side. So the only points I'm accounting for here are for the steak. So that's gonna come out to about six points a serving. I have found that steak has been a really satisfying meal for me. And as long as I'm measuring out the ounces, 
It's really not that high in point, so to have it on occasion as a bit more of an indulgent meal helps satisfy me earlier in the night, and then I find that I'm not as snacky and wanting desserts later in the evening. Saturday night, we're doing that family pizza night, making pizza bombs in the air fryer. I'll serve a nice big green salad on the side with my Zero Point Ranch dressing. And then Sunday night, I actually have some burgers prepped in the freezer. So we'll probably cook those up. And one of our favorite things to do as the weather gets warmer is I prep my fruit and veggie bins. So we have lots of fresh fruit, lots of fresh vegetables, washed, cut up and prepared. And we serve it with easy low point sides like hummus or Zero Point Ranch dressing. So I'll just pull one of those bins of fresh veggies out and we'll serve the raw veggies and dip on the side, which is a great alternative to always doing like chips or French fries. Not that we don't do that sometimes too, we do, but every now and then we switch it up for a healthier option. I'm filming a separate video where I'm gonna walk you guys through my meal prep for the week. That's gonna include my breakfast prep, which is gonna be Mediterranean breakfast bowls, as well as an Italian grinder chopped salad, which I'm going to be prepping for lunches. I have some other simple ideas if I want to mix it up throughout the week, like avocado toast, or I always have oatmeal and fruit at home. And then for another idea for lunch, I did pick up that enchilada soup, which sounds really good. Snack ideas were keeping it really simple. I could do a plate with pretzels, turkey, pepperoni, and cheese, or apples with peanut butter to dip, or a fruit plate, since I have all that great fresh fruit. If I want to go above and beyond with that, I'll make a little fruit dip up, which is so simple. You just mix plain non-fat Greek yogurt with some of the sugar-free jello cheesecake pudding mix. Mix that all up and let it set up in the fridge a little bit and it makes one of the best fruit dips especially for strawberries and pineapple. So that's how I'm getting back on track this week. Thank you guys for hanging with me while I was gone for a little bit, taking a reset after a really busy month of February. I should be back on track with my videos coming out two to three times a week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Make sure you're subscribed and hit your bell notification so you don't miss when a new video goes live. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed today's grocery haul and meal plan. And until next time, bye. bye. I always do